Hello children, welcome to a new week of Bible at bedtime and I just thought I'd started off by showing you these lovely hollyhocks. Not. Nothing's happening at all. I can't see anything. It does say on the packet allow 21 days and it's been 10 days since I put the seeds in but I will keep you informed. I do hope I haven't killed them which is what you usually do to plant. However, a bit more promising with the sunflowers. That's grown a lot in a week. And then this one came up and then this one is it's still got the, the husk of the seed attached to the little shoot, but I'm not going to fiddle with it because it's sort of stuck. It'll do its own thing, I expect. Nothing happening in those. But there we are, growing quietly. God's kingdom is growing too in our story. Um, there are some amazing things happening. And do you remember that um, it's the Passover week, which always finishes with the Passover meal, a big celebratory meal normally with the family. But Jesus and his 12 disciples, better count them, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, I'm glad I've got the right number. His 12 disciples are meeting in an upstairs room for a famous meal, always referred to as the Last Supper. And um, so they're um, getting ready to eat and uh, the, Passover, the day for the Passover supper has come. Jesus arrived with his disciples at the upstairs room in the Jerusalem house. Everyone was hot and dusty after trudging through the busy streets and it was the custom at this time when you arrived somewhere somebody would wash your feet. Um, as the twelve argued and grumbled and laughed among themselves Jesus looked at them with great affection. They were probably quite a rough lot weren't they? He knew them through and through with all their faults and he loved them dearly. He knew that even now Judas, that's him here, We've had a couple of stories about Judas, haven't we? And how he's received 30 silver coins uh, for telling the authorities where Jesus is. Um, was looking for an opportunity to betray him to his enemies, but Jesus loved him still. The disciples were looking around anxious because there was no servant to wash their feet. Mm. The least important servant in a household had the job of washing the dust and sweat from the feet of guests who'd walked dusty roads in open sandals. The pitcher of water, that's like a big jar, and a towel lay ready, but not one of them was willing to do such a horrible job. An obstinate silence fell. Then Jesus stood up, poured some water into a basin, and picked up the towel himself. He went from one disciple to the next, washing their feet in turn, and they did feel very ashamed. When Jesus at last sat down, he said, Do you understand what I've been trying to tell you? You call me your master and Lord, and you were right. That is what I am. Yet I am willing to do anything for you, even to wash your feet, because I love you. I want you to follow my example, care for each other and love one another as I love and care for you. Don't always be thinking of yourselves and your own importance. So it was like a very powerful word picture um, that Jesus painted for them here. When he washed their feet, he was showing them his great care and love for them. And he wants them to do that for each other, not just washing their feet, each other's feet but caring for one another and setting a good example for the church as the church was going to grow shortly. So we are to care for one another, boys and girls, and love one another. Um, if you can, listen to this morning's kids talk, which Andy did in the morning service, because it's about that and it's rather lovely. I love Andy's kids talks and he did a particularly lovely one this morning. So thank you very much for listening. I wonder what's going to happen next with the disciples. Well, we'll find out. Come back tomorrow. We're just going to say a prayer first. 
Heavenly Father, we thank you for the Lord Jesus Christ who loved his disciples and he loves us and he wants us to love one another too. Help us to be like him, Lord, in this way. Amen. I'm sorry we weren't outside. It's not actually raining. Well, it is raining a bit, but it's mainly that it's blowing a gale. So, but we'll try and get out as soon as we can for the rest of the stories. La, la, the Lord bless you. The Lord keep you safe and the Lord give you his peace till we meet again. Amen. See you tomorrow, everyone. Bye-bye. God bless you.